guys. Um, if you click below a video of my dad's house, now again, the view of it is going to be probably the opposite of the footage that you see with Dustin and I when I am 14 to 17 years old. Um, and you can go ahead and check. It's going to be looking through the blinds. I think those are the same blinds that I had. Now, there are only two rooms in the entire house that have obstructed view. My bedroom, because that shit is creepy, shows you I didn't want to be seen. And um, the bathroom has been blocked off. That's by my dad, my, specifically only my bathroom, which is a very high up window. He doesn't seem to want people to look in to see that purple shower. Hmm. Um, so the the way that you might be able to tell, I don't know the view of the shower, how, how that was being filmed um, it, back when I was a kid. But one common factor that you will see in the house um, that's very specific is railroad wood. Um, this is like from railroad tracks and um, they're like big um, pieces of wood that are above the door. Okay. Um, and these have been treated and you might go, well, that's not legal. Well, it was someone's personal house and that's how they wanted to build it. So that's how they built it. Now, the other thing is, but to me way more subtle is these are concrete walls. So they have, um, like these striations on the paint that look like someone should have had a flat concrete and then took paint, house paint, and just painted it on there and it created striations. So that's the other thing to look for. Now throughout the whole house, except not in the bathroom, is this white carpet. So what I have filmed, I, I show you these common factors. Look again for railroad wood, and this is 17469 Mallard Drive. I'll show you that my father does live there, that that's on his records. I'll show you that he um, that house sold in 2017 for about around a million dollars, and yet um, he's the one who lives there. It's called money funneling. I've caught my family doing it a few times now. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's like, how many, how many houses can a school teacher buy? You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, or this, you know, Drew's company, that's not really his company. There's just a lot of money funneling around my, my aunt and uncle declaring bankruptcy in 2012, only to turn around and buy a giant house. So, okay. At the same time that everybody got really wealthy was 2012. That's like when my family really fucking sold out. So, um. Yeah, and uh, you could go ahead and check that out. Um, he didn't want me to go in the house for some specific reason. That's what I had to pee, and he said, go in the bushes. <laughs> so, I go, this is bullshit. so um, I will be showing you that I unfortunately couldn't film the bathroom as I didn't have access to it, but you will be able to see at least my bedroom. I don't know if Dustin and my dad are saying that this is not where that this is not where it was filmed, that this was some bedroom, not at his house, but it indeed is. And I will even show you my dad standing on that same property at 17469 to confirm outside of even records that he personally does live there. You'll see his car and you'll see him. Okay. Now, I don't know what Caprice said, if she said that he lived there or not. Um, it's about five minutes up the hill from the police station where I met Donovan for the first time. And, um, I don't know if she said, oh, no, it was a different address. or I mean, they would. She's like all up on his nuts and would do whatever he wants. So uh, check those facts to 17469 Mallard Drive, Sonoma, California. The proofs are below. Thank you.